Welcome back. I'm gonna check this hive here. See what we got. Oh, continuing our journey. You can see all the field of wild poppies that we have. Pretty cool. So hopefully they have lots of forage here. I'm not seeing them on any of it though, which is a little weird. Maybe they're finding something somewhere else. We're gonna check on this hive here. Let's see if they need a super. Hopefully cockroaches in there. Freaking A man. So we've got bees on one, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh is not being drawn out yet. This one's just starting to get drawn out. Just to differentiate these hives, I drew a little person here in paint, paint marking pen, just so that we can avoid confusion because there was some points where I was not 100% on which hive was which. This is a resource frame, absolutely getting choked with nectar. So they are bringing it in. The very beginning of May, it looks like the honey flow is on. I did not smoke these girls. This is a lighter frame. Got brood in all stages on this one. Pollen pack in the corners. Honey up there. And they are, every worker is just full of nectar. You got eggs and cells here. I'm pretty sure this was a relatively newly mated queen. So we won't take too long in here. Okay. You can see the <laughs> rain dropping. That's my sweat. And it's so hot. It's like 90 degrees out here. And I'm out here basically in I mean, it is vented, but coveralls, for lack of a better word, in leather gloves. They actually will go and lap up the sweat. It's kind of funny. Oh, that's foundationless. Gotta be careful, especially in this high heat. Uh, it will break. Okay, brood, queen cup, queen cup, let's give those a check, just to make sure there's nothing super seizure going on around here, I know you can't see, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard, especially with foundationless. Nope, just play cups. You can see it here and here. 
Okay. I like to give my hives one frame of foundationless just so they can do whatever they want. If they wanna if they wanna make drones, they can, but it's not gonna be excessive. I mean a lot of beekeepers go, oh a whole frame of drones. That's ridiculous. Lots of eggs here too. She's starting to become a layer. That is excellent. I don't think I've seen her yet, but I know she's here. I don't, you can probably see. I mean, there's just eggs in almost every cell. I hope you can see that. These black foundations, I can't say enough about them. These are the new black foundations that uh, has extra wax on them. I really like those. So here we have more eggs. So this hive is gonna explode in about three weeks. That is what I wanna see. Trying to get this worker to get off the where I put these frames down don't want her to go squish if I don't have to so one two three four five five out of ten drawn so they probably don't need another deep yet I mean you can always put one on but I'll probably be back out next week So filling this up, and there's eggs here. Hmm. I might. So they're drawing the next one out. I was gonna say, if I had one that's just resource pollen no brood because you really don't want to break the brood box the brood frames up because we shouldn't have see this one's just starting to get drawn and it's against one that's drawn so that's what you want so they actually have I'm terrible at keeping track of things They have four open, so six drawn. At least I can do basic math, right? So here's what we'll do. Come on, she's got that aggressive pose, but she's not doing anything. There's a couple brand new drones in here. So they have this basically drawn out. We're gonna move this in and trick them. See when they get on the things like that, you kind of do a the move. It's called checkerboarding. And what this does it tricks them into going, oh, why is there open space between these two drawn frames? And then they draw it faster. Tell you what, because the flow's on and they're kind of going gangbusters, I think I'm going to put a super on these girls. Man, look at them. They're just, they're all going over here for some reason. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. What are they doing? Never seen them do that. Just kind of move over there. Maybe this queen moved over there. See that? They're all just blah. Alrighty then. So what's that a super? 
or uh, double deep. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. So on the subject of uh, adding a deep, what we're going to do here, <clears throat> see if I can get this kind of organized. Okay, so I got some ripe banana here and they're already going crazy for it. Basically black banana. So what we are going to do, I believe it's called pyramiding. And that draws them up into the super. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Basically take one out. And then you take one of these frames with brood in it. I believe this is the under the uh, foundation. Let's not, let's not grab that one. Or is this one the foundationless? Nope. So you grab one with brood on it. It honestly doesn't matter if the queen's on it. She'll find her way back down. So this has brood. It's got some bees. And you put that in the super. Kind of in the middle. And then what that does is they go, hey, we got to go up there and draw this out. So that's what they'll do. I'm just going to check our board that one end of there. The nights aren't getting cold anymore here. So the risk of chilled brood is not that great. So I don't see a problem. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see a problem. We're going to smash this out some more so we don't... I mean, you can see how, uh, how ripe this is. No, they're not attacking me. They're just going for the bananas. That's basically just pure sugar. Okay, so here we go. Mm, forgot to drill holes on this one, but what are you going to do? Okay. So that's it. That brings them up and then they're going to need to tend this brood and they'll start drawing out from there. So there we are. And you'll see I've got multiple colors now. Got the forest green over here that we uh, moved here last night. So that's it. That's Cockroach. Don't mind him. All right, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe.